A major investigation into the family law system has revealed children are being sent to live with convicted child sex offenders. A Perth mum whose daughter took her own life is now leading a campaign for a royal commission. I am broken now, torn and ripped in pieces. The words that haunt Jill Hammersley. This is the poem written by her 17-year-old daughter two months before she took her own life. She gave up because she couldn't see a way out. Abby's case is being used as the trigger for change. Her father was jailed for sexually assaulting a little girl in 2005. He was released two years later, not allowed to return to work as a dentist, but the family law system granted him access visits with his daughter. He was struck off as a professional, yet not struck off as a parent. Abby suffered depression and anorexia, then in 2013 lost her will to live. In her room, kept just as she left it, little notes and more evidence of the torment she endured. I release all anger because anger harms me. I love and accept myself where I am right now. A two-year investigation by Bravehearts titled Abby's Project identifies 14 more cases in which children have been put in the care of a parent or carer, either under suspicion or convicted of child sex offences. In most cases, the crimes were committed against their own kids and still many parents were given unsupervised access. The system is not working for our children. It is absolutely broken, it is smashed, it is dangerous and children are dying. Research reveals most child sex offenders can be rehabilitated, but within 15 years of being released from prison, 16% of low-risk predators will re-offend and 52% of high-risk offenders will also strike again. Any contact between a perpetrator and a victim, even if they are a parent and child, needs to only take place if the victim wants that to take place and that they are ready and that they have all the supports that they need in place to make that happen safely. Bravehearts had fought for these issues to be included in the Royal Commission into Child Abuse in the Catholic Church and other institutions, but was knocked back because of what is already a massive agenda. But now an online petition outlining Abby's story has attracted 50,000 signatures. I really want to turn the trauma of losing Abby into um, something good so that no other children suffer. You can show your support by visiting the Bravehearts website. Renee Henry, Nine News.